Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th, okay? So keep in mind the timing is still fluid, right? And not every reading is for you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so what do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising for the week ahead. Could be Jupiter, could be Mars, wherever Aquarius is in your chart. But I'm gonna take that one because uh, I intend these ones, these, this one and this one to be upright. So what do we have? That was Goddess of the Moon. It was reversed. Goddess of the Moon. I believe there's something that is going to be revealed this week with it being in reversed. I feel like somebody has been hiding something. Uh, something could be coming out that was hidden. Uh, it's going to be seen very clearly. I, there could be some deception, some sneaky behavior that gets revealed this week. So let's just see what we got. Somebody's been being sneaky. You'll probably find out about it. What do we have for Aquarius? Attachment. Attachment. So there's some sort of attachment here. Um, you're chained to something. Can you see that? You're chained to something and you need to, you need to break free from it. You also need to take a mask off. Somebody needs to take a mask off. They're wearing a mask and it needs to come off. Don't put it on. Keep it off. You gotta be real. You gotta be authentic. It looks to me like you are tied to something that is dark. It's really dark in there, right? You need you need to go towards the light, right? You need to go to where there's happiness and growth and um, warmth. You're in a place where it's dark and cold by the looks of things. Five is a number, unfortunately, of conflict. It is also a number of change in personal freedom. Uh, you may need to take action. I think there's a power struggle here. You're struggling to break free from something um, that you're chained to, that you're tied to. You need to be honest with yourself. Um, you need to let go of the old to bring in the new. That will require you to be authentic with yourself. So uh, I, I do believe that there's something that you need to break free from. It's pretty darn clear. This is something that is holding you back in some way. So what do we have for Aquarius? One card, please. Oh, there it is. Came out reversed. Again, again. Oh, I hate to do that. I'm going to have to take it. I'm gonna have to because the way that it happened. So the star card reversed, that is where fear takes over. Somebody is in a place of fear, okay? They don't have any faith, okay? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? It's happening because you're not being real with yourself. That's why it's happening. This is a test of your faith. I feel like there's a, there's like, why, 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 why is because you have to break free. This is, this is like, it's like, it's almost like you're waiting for somebody to come rescue you, but you have to rescue yourself. There's something you need to rescue yourself from. It's mental. Now that star card happens to be Aquarius, right? I mean, it's represented by Aquarius. That's lack of faith. It's depression. It's um, not accepting something, that it's over because the tower comes before the star. So something is over, but that's not accepting that it's over. So it's interesting. It's really interesting. You could be dealing with somebody that won't let you go. Okay, if this is something that you're attached to. Maybe they're, they're holding on. They won't let you go. That could be the case. Somebody may be asking you why, 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 why? You know, maybe maybe you're just not there anymore. You know, I do feel I do feel like uh, there's a need to detach from something that is not bringing you wish fulfillment. And I don't know what it is, but you do. A, 
not bringing you wish fulfillment twice this is unable to give or receive love. There's lack of inner happiness here. There's low self-esteem. You know, there's a creative block with these two cards. Something is holding you back. You may, you may be wishing you never got involved with somebody or a situation. This is a letdown. I feel like there's some sort of cover up here. Somebody is covering up and there's, you know, somebody could even be, you know, in a situation where there's no love, right? There's, there, there's, but they're attached to it. There's some sort of attachment that you need to break free from. And I feel like this week, you know, here you need to find your strength to deal with any conflict or change that is needed. So I, I feel like there's a lot of dissatisfaction here. Okay. Somebody's made a mistake. There's, there's some sort of self-loathing and there's a need to break free. You've got to be honest with yourself about a situation, okay? Or you may need to tell somebody, you know, maybe it's somebody that, like I said, that is holding on to you, that won't let you go. You may need to say, you know what? No, you know, I, this is not what I want. Eight of Wands, there is going to be communication from somebody. You're going to be communicating with somebody. Be authentic. I'm not saying that you're not. I'm just giving you advice. Um, King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is, is somebody that, you know, is very compassionate, very loving, very kind, very... Um, this is heartfelt communication. It is. It's heartfelt communication. You need to speak from the heart. Speak from the heart this week. You know, sometimes love hurts or whatever this is. You need to speak from the heart. You're going to, and you, some of you are going to be receiving communication from somebody. This person may be in love with you. Okay. You're definitely going to be communicating with somebody that is, um, emotionally attached to you. That's what it looks like to me. Seven of Cups. That's seeing clearly, making a choice, seeing clearly that a choice needs to be made. Four of Wands, about commitment. This does have to do with commitment, a get together, happiness, a foundation. Um, why is this happening? That's the star card reverse. Why, why, why? Somebody is making a choice They've been in a state of confusion. A choice is being made about happiness, about a commitment. They've been attached to something that they don't want to be attached to. And now they're going to be following their heart. You may be receiving communication from somebody that, you know, was attached. Maybe if you're single, say you're single. This is just an example. And this is this, I don't know, you could be in a relationship and this is happening. I don't know. Somebody is receiving a message or messages from somebody that has a feelings for them. Okay, the choice is being made right now about a commitment, whether they want to be attached or not. It could go either way. Somebody could be receiving some heartfelt communication from an individual who has chosen, you know, chosen them and they're letting go of a commitment. You know, they could be letting go of an attachment. Um, there is definitely a change here with that attachment card. Fives are about change and it is a struggle to change. Somebody um, may be communicating a drastic change, and it's probably about a commitment, okay? Um, there's fear. There is some sort of fear here. There could be fear of commitment. We could have somebody here that is, fe is fearful of, uh, if you're not married, they may be fearful of commitment, fearful of marriage, fearful of um getting attached you know that could be the fear um there could also be fear of becoming unattached you know becoming becoming single that could be in a, that could be the fear as well either way there is a choice that is definitely being made this week there's been there's been somebody has been exploring their options they've been in a state of illusion or they've been confused and 
you know, they've been unhappy with the star card reversed and the uh, nine of cups reversed. They've been really unhappy, but there's going to be some fast forward movement this week from somebody that is going to be speaking from the heart. They know what they want now. They've regained some sort of clarity and there's there could be a celebration. There could be a get together, whatever is happening. There could even be a reunion for some of you, um, but there could also be a separation. It could go either way. It could set, certainly go either way. Whatever is happening, there's going to be heartfelt communication and a definite choice is being made in regards to a partnership. It is re in regards to a partnership, in regards to a foundation. Um, yeah, this is all about happiness. It's all about wish fulfillment. And somebody hasn't been happy. Okay, they have not been happy with these two cards. And they've been fearful. They've been really, really fearful. And this, whatever the fear is about, it's it's, it's fearful. It may be fearful of rejection, you know. Um, but anyway, this is becoming clear of the choice that needs to be made and communicating, communicating the decision that is made this week. Seven of Wands. Now, there's some sort of defeat here with Seven of Wands reverse. That is... Defeated, worn down, stepping down, admitting defeat. So somebody may be admitting their defeat. Giving up. They're giving up something. They are. It's like, I'm not, I'm not fighting. I'm not going to fight this. I'm not going to fight this. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. So you may, somebody may say that. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight this. Somebody has been in a tough position. They may have been pushing a, away a commitment or pushing away you know, uh, wish fulfillment because they were attached to something. They had some some sort of attachment was it, that was in the way of their happiness. I feel like that attachment is being moved, removed, whatever it is, so that they can have, you know, the happiness that they're seeking. So I do believe that there is going to be some heartfelt communication going back and forth between you and another person that uh, has made a, made a decision in regards to uh, you know, their overall happiness and commitment, their desire for commitment. Um, and it is definitely a desire because we have a devil on the bottom. Okay. The devil is about desires. This is, um, breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. And that, that's a, the attachment up there. Okay. This is, this is taking control, taking control of ego, you know, replacing that fear it's, it's literally um, taking back control and breaking free from a situation that somebody has been bound to. And it could have just been greed or lust or materialism or whatever. Or codependency. Somebody may have been in a codependent situation that they were attached to and now they're finally free. I mean, the devil reverse could be freedom. This is also force. Okay, so I do see freedom here, freedom from some sort of attachment so that you can be happy, really, 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 really happy. This is breaking free of things or things getting worse. If you don't break free, things get worse. So it could go either way. It definitely could. There is something that is happening for a reason this week. It's happening for a reason. Okay, that's the star card because somebody's heart is guiding them towards what they want. And they have to break free from this attachment. They have to detach from something that isn't healthy, that is that is built on all the wrong things. Could be sexual. Anyhow, I do I do see that this is going to be a week of change. And you may be dealing with some conflict this week. Maybe inner conflict about a separation of some sort this it is a separation it is but i do believe that a, a clear decision is going to be made it is the right decision it is the right decision i do believe that things are going to progress forward i think they're going to move forward very quickly as well as this clarity is gained you know i think that there's probably a tower moment because tower comes before the star and you may you may be thinking, you know, why? Why, 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 why? This has all happened because somebody isn't in their dream situation. 
And we are in the, what, age of Aquarius, right? You are meant to be happy during this time. Living in a state of lack being tied to something that is less than desirable for egotistical reasons is not what the universe wants. You have to face your fears. So I believe that something is going to happen this week. That makes you move forward. I do believe there's love here. Okay. There is love with the King of Cups. There is somebody that is very loving, very kind, very, um, charming, very romantic, um, that is going to be, um, supporting you or, uh, communicating with you they may have chosen to help you or you're the chosen one or something like that there is somebody here that has good intentions that is going to be assisting you in some way you may you may be moving in a new direction with this person or you could be detaching from this per person. This could be a sudden change, very sudden because the tower comes before the star. This could be a sudden detachment. You could be dealing with Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer. Um, whatever is happening, I think that you should expect some sort of... Um, event that is happening to break you free from something that you have been committed to that is not wish fulfillment and that's just you know the way the universe works maybe you've been praying for something you know you've been praying to have it all you've been praying for abundance yeah i want abundance the, the universe here is abundance right i want to have it all i want wish fulfillment okay all right, we're going to bring it to you, but it may not be the way that you think that you're going to receive it. Good luck.